It's about 106 degrees in the valley today. So I thought it might be nice to take Kayla to meet fresh down in Cupertino and treat her to some authentic Taiwanese desserts. The original shop is called Xian Yu Xian in Chinese, which roughly translates to taro desserts. Was started in Taizong, which is a central uh, district of Taiwan, uh, in about 2007. And it was started by actually a farming family. Uh, it was a brother and a sister who used to cook these very traditional Taiwanese desserts. Uh, and their younger brother who was a businessman um, convinced them to make it into a shop. It was so successful that they were able to expand globally and they're now located in Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Vietnam, and most recently in uh, Canada and the United States. They changed the name to Meat Fresh after they began their global expansion. I don't know why, it doesn't really translate literally, but maybe in Chinese that's uh, meat for a place of socializing and fresh for the fresh quality of the desserts. The first U.S. outpost was down in Irvine, California, probably about like two or three years ago. And uh, I just remember going down there and visiting Meat Fresh and the place was always mobbed. And actually it still is today. If you try to go down there during the weekends, easily you're waiting an hour, hour and a half in line. This location here just opened up last year and it is just as popular as the one down in Irvine. So if you come uh, after school during the weekday, you're looking probably about an hour wait just to get to the cash register. And then it's probably another like, you know, 10 to 15 minutes to uh, get your food. And if you come on the weekend, forget it. It's probably about like a two hour wait. Luckily, Kayla's got a half day, so we're able to make it here before the crowd. Let's go in and sample some Taiwanese dessert delicacies. So once you order, they're going to give you a little buzzer, just like this. Because it takes about 10 to 20 minutes for them to make the food, depending on what it is. Actually, uh, a lot of the um, delicacies are made in Taiwan and then shipped here, frozen. And what they do is just heat it and cook it in the back. Um, but still, it takes a little while to prep everything and shave the ice and whatnot. And when the buzzer goes off, you can go up and pick your item from the pickup counter. This is a special pineapple shaved ice. They don't always have this. This is a seasonal thing. And um, I'm going to see if I can guess what everything here is. So this big block here, that's herbal jelly. That I can tell. And these are kidney beans here. And over here, these are uh, rice balls that are kind of a little bit like mochi. And these ones here are, they're called jelly noodle. This is, I think, uh, a pineapple jam. And this here is a jelly cake. And then this is served with, um, served on top of a shaved ice. And this here is another very traditional dessert in Taiwan. This is a tofu pudding. And I order the tofu pudding with peanuts because, again, that's very, very traditional. Um, and so what they do here, this is a very flavorless, very, very soft tofu. And they um, suspended it here in some uh, sugar water mixture. And uh, in it is a, a, like a boiled peanut. So these are very, very soft in texture. I love this, this is actually one of my favorites um, and I love to eat it during summertime. This here is the Herbal Jelly number six and this is actually their signature series. Um, they are known for their herbal jelly. And of course you've got here the herbal jelly right here. And uh, herbal jelly is actually made from the extract of a plant um, and then they soak it and that's how they get that sort of black, um, liquid to it and then they just make it into something very similar to a jello and then you've got here these are the uh, noodle jellies and then boba and this is what you're going to see uh, in your boba teas and then this here is a melon jelly right here 
And then underneath it all is actually um, shaved ice. And this shaved ice is actually made with the herbal jelly. So the herbal jellies, in, or, uh, the herbal jelly essence essentially is uh, infused into the ice here. These bowls are actually quite a decent size and uh, easily you can share one between two people. These are traditional Taiwanese dessert spoons. Actually, most of the spoons in, in Taiwan and China are shaped like this. It's kind of like this larger uh, surface area that you can, uh, you can get a lot more in the scoop. All the herbal jellies come with this. It's just a plain non-dairy creamer that you're supposed to put on top of your dessert. And in Taiwan, they would actually serve probably a condensed milk instead of a non-dairy creamer, but that's okay. This is their take on it. It just gives a little bit of a, a richer consistency to the uh, herbal jelly. So this is the herbal jelly right here. really nice. It's very cold, very refreshing. And then trying here some of this uh, melon noodles. Can't really taste the melon that much. It's just got a very like hard jelly consistency to it. And then the boba here. That's cooked really well. It's got a really nice QQ consistency to it. And then last but not least, let's try these noodle jellies. It's really chewy and um, there's kind of a very bland flavor to it, but it's kind of nice because when you have it next to the herbal jelly, you don't want too much uh, flavor um, getting in the way. And then just digging down here, you're getting some of the uh, really nice, cool shaved ice here with the herbal jelly texture to it. Mm. Gotta be careful not to get brain freeze. <laughs> The tofu is really, 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 really silky and like just it being on my tongue, it, it makes it like melt in my mouth. Here's the pineapple shaved ice special for today. So here, we've got this uh, pineapple jam up on top and I've added a little bit of the uh, shaved ice to it which looks like it's got something infused in it. It's not just straight shaved ice. The pineapple is like a um, dried pineapple that they've then um, sweetened, really. Um, so it tastes pretty good. It's a little bit like candied ginger, but they've like candied the pineapple instead. Um, and then adding kidneys and other beans to desserts is actually pretty typical of a lot of like Taiwanese desserts. And so um, the nice thing about these beans is that they're not uh, very strong in flavor. Um, and so it, it kind of goes really well with the sweeter desserts. And here are the rice balls. It's a little bit harder than mochi because, well, it's cold, but uh, it's pretty much a very similar consistency and taste to it. Um, again, they don't really add anything. There's no filling or anything. It's just a straight mochi, so um, it's got a pretty bland flavor. And we'll try a little bit of this uh, jam jelly or cake, jelly cake, whatever it's called. So it's a little bit slightly sweet, and the texture is not as gelatinous as, say, uh, a Jello. You can taste it has definitely a little bit of a like a softer, um, mushier jam texture underneath it. So uh, overall, it's great. And the the wonderful thing about these desserts is it's kind of like a combination of all sorts of different textures. So. Um, it's really got a, a really wonderful quality when, you, when you're eating it. Right away, whenever, when I took a bite, I immediately tasted the pineapple. It was so good. Meat Fresh is located in the newly developed Cupertino Main Street Mixed Use Complex. It's got all the hottest Silicon Valley restaurants, so come for dinner and dessert or as a late night social. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out Geeksters.